Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at how to use Microsoft Paint to remove background of images, work with layers, and create AI images. These new features are available in the latest update of the application, which Microsoft is touting as part of the Windows 11 version 23H2. So let's dive into the steps. The first feature that we're going to look at is the ability to remove the background from images. So first you need to open an image and then from the image tools section, we're gonna use this button right here, which is called remove background. And as you press it, the application will automatically scan the picture and remove the background without any extra steps. And as you can see, it removed all the background and it's pretty darn good how it does it. Once the process is complete, you can save the file without the background, but here's the thing. If you save it as a JPEG, the image will still save without the background, but it will include a white background. Now, if you want to save the image with the transparent background, you have to use the PNG extension. And let me show you, I already saved the two versions of the file. So I have a PNG that I saved. And if I open it with the Photos app, we can see that there is no background on the image and it's transparent. But now if we open the JPEG file, we're going to see that we have a white background. So that is something to keep in mind with when working with this feature. Now let's see how to work with layers. So this is the button to open layers. And as you can see, we get an interface on the side to work with this feature. So layers are like transparent sheets stuck on top of each other. Each layer can contain a separate image, text or shape. And this allows you to edit each element independently without affecting the other layers. To see this in action, we're going to click this button to create a new layer. And then we're going to create a shape. And as you can see, this layer is forward or on top of the other image in the back. And if I want to work with the image that is in the back, I can bring it forward by dragging and dropping the layer to the top. And as you can see, now we have this layer right here and you can edit and you can do whatever it is that you need to do. If you wanna work with the other layer, you can rearrange it again and now you can work on this layer. We can also hide the layer with the button right here that helps you to work better with a specific layer. And if you're done working with multiple layers, you can merge them together. And you can do that by right clicking a specific layer and you have the merge down and anything that is down to that layer is gonna merge into one layer. From here, you can also duplicate the layer. You also have the option to hide the layer and you can delete the item as well. Now let's look into co-creator which is the new feature on Microsoft Paint that brings AI to create images. And to do that, we're going to click the co-creator button and that brings this new interface. And on this prompt box, you need to type the description of the image that you want to create. For the purpose of this video, let's just ask to create an image of a bear drinking coffee. Just make sure that the more details that you use, the more accurate the image is going to be. Then right here, we can choose the style of the image. We have different ones. So I'm just going to select the oil painting option. And that's the kind of style that we're going to get for the image that is going to generate. Once you're ready, click the create button. And one thing that you're going to notice, each user is going to get at least initially uh, 50 tokens to create 50 images using AI. And the future might change, I don't know. So after the AI is done creating the image, you're going to get at least three variants, which you can explore. And as you can see, we get the bear drinking coffee as we ask in the prompt, but we have different variants to choose from. And that's how you use the co-creator feature to create AI images with the Microsoft Paint app. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.